Hello everybody, I'm Yoni Zia and you're tuned into the late Parsha show, Parsha Spitzala. So in last week's Torah portion, we were given the blueprint for God's house. And if that sounds completely ridiculous, watch last week's video. Speaking of God's house, I want to congratulate my parents and community in Hialeah, Florida on finally leasing a building to serve as the Chabad Center. Mazel tov. Good luck with all the finances and schlepping in all the chairs and stuff. Speaking of which, when it came to the tabernacle, other than the actual physical structure, God also wanted things inside. Because what's the house without furniture? Well, not furniture as in couches and dressers, but holy objects that serve different functions in the temple service, such as the altar and the menorah. Let's have a party, Close. This menorah didn't have multicolored candles. Well, duh. I mean... They only had one color then. This is like before they invented black and white. Actually, this menorah didn't have candles at all. It was lit with oil. Oh yeah, my, my truck runs on diesel oil. My baby truck. The Torah portion opens like this. And you shall command the children of Israel, and they will bring to you pure olive oil crushed. This is the very purest and finest oil that is crushed from the olives. And only this oil may be used for the menorah. The olives afterwards can continue to be Grinded or ground is probably the right word, but that excess oil is not to be used for the menorah. The menorah's oil is only that pure first drop that comes from the olives when it is first crushed. The key word here is crushed. Remember that. Bro, I once wrestled a guy who weighed 450 pounds. I will never forget that word. The lesson here is so simple and yet so deep. We as a whole, and each of us as an individual, are like an olive. We are sometimes, or perhaps even oftentimes, crushed. We endure pain in our lives in one form or another. But that is when the very best of us is squeezed out. That is when our core is expressed. Like the olive, when we are first crushed, we can either continue on with the process of being pressed and ground, or we can allow our purest and finest part, our essence, our innate goodness, our soul power, to shine forth. On this note, uh, my friend asked me to make a certain announcement for him on the Late Parsha show, but instead, he doesn't know this yet, I'm gonna call him and uh, I'll allow him to make this announcement. He's calling over here. Jacob, you're on, I'm recording you because you're on the Late Parsha show now. Uh, instead of me announcing what you asked me to announce, I want you to announce it. So uh, you could do that? Okay, hi. All right, yeah, let's go. Hi everyone. My name is Jacob Renwine, and I'm a student in Davie, Florida. So listen, you all probably heard about the tragedy that took place in Florida, which took the lives of 17 people. A little less popular fact is that five of those people were Jewish, and therefore the Chabad Ares in Parkland have organized a campaign called UnitePartland.com. Ellie, you send them the link, right? Uh, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to send it along with this video. Okay, amazing. The main point is that we're writing a brand new Torah in memory of the victims. We need your help to make it happen. So please, please, please donate. Five, five hundred, five thousand dollars, whatever you can give, will really help further this school. So thank you so much, Ali. Thank you so much, guys, and have an amazing Shabbos.